a father and an elder daughter and a very very young child go they lived a regular life every day grind the father would be ready but here was the thing the elder daughter was so responsible she would wake up well in advance come about and welcome her father with the newspaper and a hot cup of coffee which she would make and give it to her father not only this after this she would go wake the baby up and not the baby a young child and she would actually give her a bath spend some time with her get her to get ready and make sure that she is all ready to go to school even though she would not be make the activity very easy <laughs> even when the father's friends would come home she would responsibly make sure that she they had something hot ready to eat and everybody who would come home would ask for his elder daughter because she was so friendly and always smiling and always with a happy happy mind and when they asked for younger sister he's asking for coffee just one second they're making it <laughs> there was nothing that this girl could not do she was always ready to do any kind of work he is asking for the younger daughter and she would know where she is just like a responsible elder sister always does and the father proudly tells everyone that he has a very happy family and a very and is very proud of the elder daughter and then something interesting happened the father for education sake put the elder daughter into a very big school and a very new school she was very happy because this was the moment she always waited for she wanted to go to this school ever since her car would pass through the school so on the first day of the school like always she prepared her younger daughter uh, younger sister and got ready well within time and her father dropped her off to the school and as the teacher walked in the elder daughter very responsibly dropped her younger sister off and sent her off and only then moved to her class this was very hard for her because all her time was always with her younger sister after some time her the elder sister's teacher came in and she started teaching her and after a few days of learning under this teacher she scored a lot of good marks and the teacher was very proud of her music sota kare mere and as we all face that anxiety I'm sure you all do the same thing when you go to a new office. She also had the same anxiety of making new friends. So after finding out that she got really good marks, uh, can you have a little lesser music, please? She decided to go and meet and make some new friends. 
But look at that. What is happening? Although she tried to make friends and talk to them, they were all engrossed in what? Mobile phone. She saw few people play around just like that without a mobile phone. She tried to join them and they happily gathered her inside. And she had a great friends group. And it was all good to go. And then the teacher walks in. Even though they are very busy with the mobile, they didn't realize that the teacher is here. Okay, then she started to ask a lot of questions. And only the girls who never carried the mobile were answering the questions. If you notice, they were not even looking up from the device. They didn't even know who walked in. They didn't even know who was around. In fact, if you call them now, they will not respond. <laughs> Four ones up. I don't know. <laughs> and the teacher was like, oh, oh, what is this? I spent three months teaching them and they don't know four ones are. And she take and she took took their mobiles away. For those who wondered what she whispered, she said, please be careful with my mobile. <laughs> they come running to the teacher and they start begging her, please, please give it to me. So the teacher finally gives in. Sorry, she doesn't give it. Or she gives in. And she gives them back their mobiles and everything. Steadily, as months go by, these girls start making friends with their elder sister. And every day they show different things to her on their mobile. And they absolutely make her fall in love with the device. Because come on, let's agree, it is a fascinating device. And she started getting excited. Even though her regular friends would call her to play outside, she wouldn't go. Because she now wanted to play with the mobile gang. So she went home to her father and she asked, Appa, Appa, I want a mobile phone. And her father was like, no way. All these days you have been without a mobile phone. I don't want to give it. But she cried and cried and you all know kids have their way with things. And they go and they get the mobile. And now the elder sister was a proud owner of a new device. Slowly and steadily, her routine remained the same. Get up, get ready, go to school. But it was not the same actually. This time, the younger sister would wake up in time. And she would wake up the elder sister saying, Hey, you're getting late to the school. She would be the one who comes and gives the newspaper to her father instead of the elder sister like usual. And while the elder sister would sit, as soon as wake up, sit with her mobile phone, not paying attention to what was going on. Her father would ask and crave for coffee. But this time it would be the younger one who would give the coffee to the father and the elder one is still stuck with the device. The younger one would go prep the bags because she was taught by her uh, sister. She knew what was supposed to be done. But the sister who taught her all this was just not doing what needs to be done. But she knew she has to go to school because that's where her mobile gang was. And her father dutifully, although very disappointed, would take her to school and wonder where did he go wrong? Why has my daughter not looked up and seen me or not spoken to me? The teacher would continue to teach, but nothing would go into the elder sister's head. 
and she'll start yell they start scolding her because her performance would have dipped the father would wonder what to do how do i help my child when his friends come the father tells them their problem and he says the elder daughter that you absolutely loved she is not leaving her phone she is always with it so this guy gives him a very nice idea he says why don't you do a thing and go hide her mobile phone just take it from her and she won't know where it is then see what happens the next day father would be waiting to see what her reaction would be and while he sees that she's asleep he takes her phone and hides it up and as she woke up the elder sister runs here and there looking for the phone where is my phone where is my phone and she asks everyone but she just could not find it and she starts to weep <laughs> and her father brings the phone and gives it to her and he asks her even for a second without even thinking what else you could do you're so addicted to the phone that you've started to cry you really should remember that your sister is waiting to play with you and there are so many more things to do apart from your phone she feels so happy and she looks at her father and refuses to take the mobile phone because she realizes that she is addicted to the mobile phone she then goes to the school but goes back to her ways <laughs> and as every story will have it there was a happy ending the elder sister was without the phone she went back to her friends and she started talking and bullying everyone and asking them to do what she wants them to and she was so happy with the new found happiness that she rarely went back to the phone this is our story from the junior team